Hi, I'm Sue from Candles Off Maine, and this is our Meet the Maker event. Today we're here with Daniel Benedict of Daniel Benedict Design. Welcome. Hi there. Thank you for joining us today, and tell us a little bit about Daniel Benedict Design. Okay. I have been in the furnace world for about eight to ten years, and I have a range of nine different fragrances and we are we just relaunched a repackaged eco-friendly collection and we have a sea collection with four different fragrances beach house coral reef sand dunes and driftwood and a city collection with penthouse pinotaire palazzo and park view and then holiday here in the bottom can you tell us a little bit about the inspiration between creating and creating the fragrance is, I pretty much, wherever I travel or wherever I am that I really get inspired by, I sometimes walk down the street and something just hits me and it's a fragrance that I just love. And I literally sit down and try to explain that to a perfumer and it takes a lot of fine tuning but we come up with a, a base and then work off that base and uh, it usually takes about, I would say six months to a year to successfully create one of my new shirts. And what makes Daniel Beck design a little bit different than some of the other luxury brands you see right Our newest uh, concept is we really are going after an eco-friendly collection. This packaging that you're seeing here in this container is a eco-friendly, this is a recycled, uh, I'm sorry, a, a reclaimed recycled ceramic container. And rather than have a heavily packaged product, we have a recyclable band around the front of the box, the container, and everything is being pitched as four uh, reasons to repurpose and recycle and reuse all of our components. So the thought is that once you finish with the candle, you use this for flowers or for cotton balls or for pens, and you recycle the paper, and there's very little that's ending up in the recycling bin because you reuse it. Sounds fantastic. Always a good thing. And we want to thank Dino DeMarco of Ohio for submitting our questions. She's one of our Facebook fans. Usually we select one question, but if it's so great, we actually use all four that she came up with. So thank you, Dina. And thank, thank you very you much, Daniel. Thank you.